Hi everyone, today we are going to be talking again about quadratic relations and in particular we are going to be looking at the zeros, the y-intercept, the vertex, the direction of opening, and the axis of symmetry. Okay, go ahead and grab a piece of paper and a pencil and let's get started. Okay, so let's think about some of the information that we've learned leading up to today. So we're going to use the graph to help us fill in our answers. So can you determine what the zeros are, the y-intercept, the vertex, and the direction of opening of this parabola? Okay, go ahead and write down your answers, and I'll write mine down shortly. Okay, so something that might help you is to go ahead and label those points right on your parabola. Okay, so the zeros are at negative one and zero. And at negative three and zero. Okay, next our y-intercept is at 0, 3. The vertex is at negative 2, negative 1. And the direction of opening is up. So it kind of looks like a smile face, or you can think of a cup, you can pour water into it, so it's pointing up. Okay, so let's take a look at the next example. Use the graph to fill in your answers. So again, zeros, y-intercept, vertex, and direction of opening. Go ahead and fill in your answers. Okay, so the zeros are at negative one, zero, and negative five, zero. The y-intercept is at 0, 5, and the vertex is at negative 3, negative 4, and the direction of opening again is up. Great job everyone. Okay, let's take a look at the next example. Okay, so state the zeros, the y-intercept, the vertex, and the direction of opening. Go ahead. Okay, so the zeros are at negative 1 and 0. And 3 and 0. Our y-intercept is at 0, 3, the vertex is at 1, 4, and this time our parabola kind of looks like a frown. It's upside down, so the direction of opening is down. Okay. Okay, in this next, next example, we are going to determine the zeros. So we have y equals x subtract 2 times x plus 5. And we should be able to, at this point, determine the zeros just by looking at the equation in factored form here. Okay, go ahead and write down your zeros. Did you say 2 comma 0 and negative 5 comma 0? Great job. Okay, the next question is a bit bigger of a question. We are going to determine four different things. So the zeros, the y-intercept, the equation of the axis of symmetry, and the vertex for this equation. y equals x subtract 4 times x subtract 1. So again, the zeros, just by looking at the equation, we should be able to figure out the zeros are at 4 and 1.
For the y-intercept, we can let x equal 0, or we can expand and simplify using FOIL or the distributive property. And then the C value is our Y intercept. So I'm going to show you the two different ways to find your Y intercept. Okay, so let's go ahead and write this in standard form. So using FOIL, Y equals X squared minus X minus 4X. plus four, so y equals x squared minus five x plus four. So if we look at the equation in standard form, that c value, the number four, so remember our general standard form is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, so the c value is our y-intercept. Okay, so in other words, 0, 4 is the coordinate. Next, we're going to look at the equation of the axis of symmetry. So that is the average of the zeros. So we have a formula. So x equals 4 plus 1. divided by 2, so 5 over 2, or in other words, 2.5. And last but not least, we are going to determine the vertex. So we're going to sub in 5 over 2, into our equation y equals x squared subtract 5x plus 4. All right, I'm kind of running out of space here. Sorry about that, that that 4 is kind of squished in there. So if we simplify here, we have y equals, so 5 squared is 25, 2 squared is 4, so 25 over 4, minus 25 over 2, because 5 times 5 over 2 is 25 over 2, and then plus 4. So in order to figure out the y value, we need a common denominator. So our common denominator here would be, you guessed it, 4. Okay, so all right, to be continued, my battery is about to die. All right, 